Hi guys, it's my pleasure to be with you today. Our lesson today is congruency. At the first two shapes, we can say that they are congruent if they have the same size and the same shape. They are exactly the same if they have the same size and the same shape. Here, AB, let's see, AB, exactly the same as XY, XY, and also the length of BC, BC, exactly the same, YZ, Y. Z. Here, the length of YZ, here, 2 units, and also the length of CB is 2 units. Okay, here, the length of CD, where is CD, CD, exactly the same as ZM, ZM, they are exactly the same. And also, DA, DA, exactly the same as MX, they have the same length. And also, about measure, measure of angle A here, exactly the same as measure of angle X. A and X, they are exactly the same. If the measure of angle A here is 40, then measure of angle X will be 40 degrees also. Measure of angle B here, exactly the same as measure of angle Y. Measure of angle B, exactly the same as measure of angle why? They have the same measure. Measure of angle C also here, obtuse angle, exactly the same as measure of angle Z. C and Z have the same measure. Measure of angle D also have the same as measure of angle M. D and M have the same measure. Then two shapes again have the same size and have the same the shape or be congruent shapes. The symbol congruent is read as congruent to as well. Okay, remark number one. The two congruent polygons should be written in the same order of their corresponding vertices. For example, if the two opposite triangles are congruent, then we write, here we have A, B, C, and triangle X, Y, Z. We should be write them in the same order. Look guys here, measure of angle A, exactly the same as measure of angle X. We have the same mark here, cross and the cross. Then we start from A. Measure of angle B, exactly the same as measure of angle Y. We have the same mark here, star and star. Measure of angle C, exactly the same as measure of angle Z. We have the same mark here, dot and dot. If we read this one, A, B, C, triangle, A, B, C, congruent to, triangle what? Here we start from A, then you must start from, what is the corresponding angle to A? X, triangle X, because a corresponding to X. What's the next one? B. B corresponding to Y. Then you will say X, Y. Here, C corresponding to C corresponding to Z. You will say X, Y, Z. Then triangle A, B, C congruent to triangle X, Y, Z. Remark number two. If the two polygons are congruent, then each side and each angle in one of them is congruent to the corresponding element in the other polygon. If the polygon A, B, C, D congruent to the polygon X, Y, Z, L, then measure of angle A here equal measure of angle X. Measure of angle A congruent to measure of angle X, measure of angle X, see the first letter and the first letter. What else? Measure of angle B, the second one here, equal, measure of angle, the second one, there, Y, measure of angle Y. And here the third one, measure of angle C, the third one here, 
equal measure of angle Z, the third one there, measure of angle C equal or exactly the same, have the same measure of measure of angle D, the third one. And the last one here, measure of angle D equal, the last one there, L, the last one and the last one, they are equal, measure of angle L. Again, guys, measure of angle A is the same as measure of angle X, the first and the first. Measure of angle B, the second, is the same as measure of angle Y, the second and the second. They have the same measure. And also, measure of angle C, the third one here, equal measure of angle Z, the third letter and the third letter. Measure of angle D, the last one here, equal measure of angle L. Remark number three, equality of the corresponding side of two polygons is not enough to get congruent polygon, but it's need an addition to equality of the corresponding angles. Special cases, two squares are congruent if the side length of one of them equals the side length of the other. We say that square A, B, C, D congruent to the square X, Y, Z, L. If A, B, the first and the second, equal the length of X, Y, the first and the second here. And also, B, C, B, C, the second and the third, equal the second and third here. Y, Z, Y, Z. And also, CD, CD equal, here the third and the last, the third and the last, ZL. Here we have three sides. What is the fourth one? AD, AD, we take the first letter and the last letter together, equal the first here and the last, XL. Two rectangles are congruent if the two dimension of one of them equals the two dimension of the other. We say that rectangle ABCD congruent to rectangle XYZL if AB equal XY. AB, the first and the second, equal XY. And also BC, BC equals Y. Z. Number C, two triangles are congruent if each side length of one of them equals the corresponding side length of the other. We say that triangle ABC congruent to triangle XYZ, we have the same side and the same shape. If AB, AB the first and the second, AB equals XY, XY the first and the second letter. And also BC, BC, the second and the third, equals YZ, the second and the third. And the last one, you take the first one and the last one. AC, AC side length, equal XZ, XZ. Okay, thank you guys. Hope to see you again.